Hello everybody, Interiteri back again with another video. Today's video is going to be about talking about Federer, his th uh, third round victory against Cam Nori and some other matches that has been during the day and yesterday as well. We start with Federer first, the super maestro from Switzerland, the 20-time Grand Slam champion, the 8-time Wimbledon champion. He went through in four sets after a solid performance. He was not as flawless as he was against Richard Gasquet, but of course, Cam Nori is a better player than Richard Gasquet, at least at the current moment. He has, of course, not had a better career than, than um, Richard Gasquet. Richard Gasquet has won 15 titles in his career, I believe, uh, and that has Cam Nori definitely not. Uh, so, uh, Cam Nori, he troubled Roger most more than Richard Gasquet. Richard Gasquet, uh, he makes the big three looks superior let's be honest Richard Gasquet doesn't thread the big three a lot he doesn't have a serve doesn't have the returns he has one of the worst returns that I've ever seen uh, so Roger uh, or Cam Nori we, we all knew he would be a bigger test for Roger and we, won, we, we were right Roger won the first set both of the two guys didn't play any tremendous good first set, I must say. Both of them did more errors than winners in the first set. Uh, Cam Nori did 10 errors, I believe, and only six unforced, and only six winners. Roger, on the other hand, did eight unforced errors and seven winners only. So, but Cam Nori was pretty horrible in the first set, I must say. Roger was slightly better, but not much, and he won six for the first set. Then in the second set, Roger was superior, to be quite honest. He did 60 winners and 6 Amphrostaros. He does 10 more winners than Amphrostaros in the second set. And Cam Nori also was much better in the second set. He did 12 winners and 7 Amphrostaros. So he does uh, 5 more winners than Amphrostaros. So both Roger and Cam, was, they were playing much better tennis in the second set than they, than they did in the first. But of course, Roger was much better than Cam Nori in the second set. Uh, he was he, his shot uh, making. Uh, his, his shot making was much better in the second set. He did much less errors. He did much more winners. He played much cleaner tennis in the second set. Roger Fed and won the second set six four. And then in the third set, they went toe to toe. It was it was not it was not n neither of the players was breaking each other's serve. There was they were holding serve pretty comfortable both of them until the last game of the. Of that third set when Roger was serving in that 12th game of the third set and was trying to take the third set to a tie break he did his worst game of the match he basically he basically gave that game away with four straight unforced errors in that 12th game of the third set Roger Federer he took the Santa Claus hat up in this up his, up in his hand and gave that game away to Cam Nori and said to Cam Nori, here you have it. I'm giving you this game for you for free. And Cam Nori, he just he took that game and won that set, third set 7-5 and, and won a set. And then the fourth set, Roger started to play better tennis, more, much cleaner tennis. Uh, did more um, winners than Amphrostaros in the fourth set and Cam Nori started to play worse tennis in the fourth set. He was, to, he was starting to do much more errors than winners in the fourth set. And in the fourth set, Roger was clearly the better player. So Roger did two clean sets here. Uh, that was the second set and that was the fourth set. Where he did more winners than errors, both in the second set and the fourth set. Roger's uh, first set and third set he did more errors than winners. Somehow he won the first set because Cam Nori was pretty horrible in the first set. But in the third set, Cam Nori didn't let him go away with doing more errors than winners. And he won it 7-5. All in all, Roger does 48 winners, 33 unforced errors. So he does 15 more winners than unforced errors. Cam Nori does 32, uh, uh, 34 winners, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and 32 unforced errors. So Cam Nori, all in all, does two more winners than unforced errors. Roger was landing 67% first of scene, was winning 73 or, or 73 or 74% behind his first serves, and was winning 67% behind his second serves. So Roger does a solid performance, not more than so, solid. 
uh, he wins a lot of points behind second serve, 67%, but doesn't win tremendously many points behind his first serves. 73 or 74%. With points winning behind your first serve, it is a good number. But he was winning much more points behind his first serves against Richard Gasquet, 84%. So, um, a solid performance from Roger Federer, not more than so. Not more than so. Some other matches, Berrettini won his straight sets, Rublev won his straight sets, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Sonego won his straight sets. Uh, Shapovalo won yesterday against Murray in straight set, destroyed Murray, outplayed him 6-4, 6-2, 6-2, gave Murray only 8 games. Uh, pre uh, clinical performance from Shapovalov, I must say, I thought that Murray would have a bigger chance, to be quite honest. But Shapo, he played clinical tennis. He did 44, 24 unforced errors and uh, 45 winners. He does 21 more winners than Afro Styles Shapovalov. Murray he couldn't hit through Shapovalov. Murray hit only 16 uh, winners, I believe, and 17 Afro Styles. So, something like that. Murray was not doing a lot of winners, that's for sure. He, he couldn't hit through Shapovalov. Murray is not, of course, Murray has, he's not, he's not in, his prime, in his prime, that's for sure. I thought Murray would stand a bigger chance, to be quite honest. I didn't think that Shapo would destroy Murray in that straight fashion like he did. And now, the at the current moment, Medvedev and uh, uh, Cilic are playing. Cilic has won his first two sets. Medvedev won the third. I have a feeling that Medvedev will turn this, this match around, guys. I don't know. I have a feeling. I have a feeling Medvedev will wear Cilic down and will squeeze a lot of unforced arrows down. Uh, and will squeeze a lot of unforced arrows from Cilic's racket. Exactly like I thought before this match started. I thought that Medvedev will wear Cilic down with a lot of unforced errors coming from Maricic's racket. So I think Medvedev will turn that match around and win in five sets. That is my prediction after Medvedev winning the third set. Uh, some, uh, some other matches that we have had uh, during the day. Uh, I, I forgot some, some match. Uh, yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, uh, RBA, he won in five uh, yesterday and now will face Shapoval in fourth round. That is a toss-up match, man. Let's see what happens there. Uh, Hurkacz won uh, in straight sets against Kashanov. Hurkacz has been to horrible the entire year after he won Miami Open. He basically has lost first round matches since Miami Open, but he defeated Kashanov in straight sets. Uh, Hurkacz. And Hurkacz is through to the fourth round. Sonego is through to the fourth round for, for, for the first time ever in his career after winning his straight sets and will, and will face Roger Federer in that fourth round match. I fancy Roger's chances there. You never ro know with ro Roger. Roger is not super consistent anymore. You never know what kind of a mode level you will, you will see Roger. Average mode level, good mode level, great mode level, beast mode level, or even maybe a horrible mode level. You never know. In this match today, he was good mode level, Roger Federer. Not more than so. Against uh, uh, Richard Gasquet, he was great mode level. Uh, so let's see which kind of a mode level Roger, Roger Federer will show up against Lorenzo Sonego two days from now. But I fancy Roger's chances there. Roger is in the second week now. He, 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 will, he will feel pretty confident. He will feel... Uh, he, will, he, he will like his chances, that's for sure. But you never know. Sonego is a big hitter, especially as a big four and big serve. Not the greatest... Not the greatest uh, return, I must say. And so, guys, uh, there you have some uh, recap of the matches that we have seen at, at Wimbledon. Uh, uh, Roger is through, Shapo is through. I think Medvedev will come through. That is my feeling. Maybe I will be wrong. I think Medvedev will come through in five sets. I think he will he will uh, turn this loss, uh, this uh, scenario around after being loved to down against Maricilic. Uh, but you never know. Uh, then uh, Berrettini, he's, he looks strong. He's, he's, look, he's looking uh, uh, good. Uh, 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 Rublev is looking good as well. He's through to the fourth round. Uh, and of course, uh, Djokovic also is uh, through to the fourth round and will face uh, uh, Christian Garin tomorrow. I believe he will take out Christian Garin. Christian Garin is a great collector specialist. Uh, he has done great, uh, great journey so far to win three matches. Before this Wimbledon, he has never won one single match, Christian Green, in his career. Now he has won three matches at Wimbledon, but I think Christian Garin's journey ends here. I think Djokovic will take out Christian Garin in straight sets. That is my feeling. Maybe I'm wrong. You never know. But uh, Djokovic is the man to beat here, let's be honest. He has not dropped one single set in three, in, in three matches. 
uh, we don't and uh, yeah and Zverev is also through in four sets after losing the first set against, uh, against uh, Taylor Fritz. Poor Taylor Fritz is always losing these three these three th these three round clashes. It it majors always and now he did it against Zverev as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace.